Okay. There you have it. Okay, this came off the, A the Sharp ARM256. We're going to reprocess it on this machine. Okay, A4R. On glass. Oh, it's in that area. Just against their line with that edge. A bit curly. <sighs> Maybe we don't want to get it too perfect. It's not <sighs> copy of culture. It has to look a little bit rough, really. <laughs> Right, we're going to bypass feed. Hang on, no, we're not bypass feeding. We're going to actually go and print on A3, okay? We're going to warm up the copier now, boot it up. Ooh, that was a funny little trick. Okay. Oh, it just got on, just started up. Oh, I didn't quite get it, sorry. All right. This little thing is such a small machine, but don't underestimate its some difficulty. Okay, this in large. So it should theoretically be a quick demo. Hang on. See I'm muffing it a bit. Okay, hit enter, bang. Okay, um light and darken. Yeah, we're trying to get it a bit more richer than that other copier. That other copier though it's two months old is to me looks a bit crap. So my sensibility says it stays on text. Okay, we're going to hit, hit start. Okay. So this one does. Hey, now it comes. Hey, that's not bad. So here's the image of the sharp. ARM256 and this is the one of the Xerox Document Center 186 okay we're not finished with the 186 yet we've got to do another another couple of runs so we're going to use the A5R area this is going to be a little bit tricky um, A4R so now A5R now this is going to be a trick so we're going to put it roughly against the B4 section. I don't know if this is going to work in this case. Um, A4, even I'm struggling here, but A5R. Damn it, I'm trying to think. So, um, just put the cover down. Oh, damn, it's slipping. <laughs> oh, hang on, there's the A5 area. Silly doof. Even I find the scar markings a little bit tricky. Uh, here we go, we're going into a bit of a usability beef up again, aren't we? Isn't that typical of me? Oh damn it. I think I should have shot this one in an extra in small takes. Now I've got to get this damn document cover down, document feed up. Oh! 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 That hurt! The copier bit me! Sorry, I don't mind copier, I love you still. Ah! <laughs> it looked as if the copier bit me. Oh, right, it was my fault. Okay, now this thing's not positioned properly, right? If anything, this is going to be more of a comedy relief for those people out of work who don't. Hated to be thrown out of the copier industry, and I'm sure they could have designed a better makeup than this damn device. So, if this is a bit crooked, well, maybe it's not such. Oh, damn it, I don't know whether I'm going to. This is a good idea. Oh, copy of culture, indeed. All right, down the cover. Oh, down the dock feeder. Oh, shit. I don't want to bust the hardware, but I'm a bit, it's a bit awkward here. Okay, now, if the image is a bit crooked, that's fine. We need a bit of authenticity in my work um, right loose and large so I think we're gonna go what's the ratio we're gonna select 115 122 uh, no I think we're gonna go bigger than that um, does this thing go higher than 141 don't don't think so um, hang on is a zoom function Let's see if it's got we can go 200% okay come on copier Oh, yeah, what is it doing? Oh, let's just clear that. That's the clear button there. Okay, 200. What? 200. Here we go. Sorry, I didn't show the keypad. And I assume it's enter. We're in there now. Oh, man, my finger hurts. My middle finger. Ouch. Okay. Actually, when I was a kid, all right, incidentally, my dad accidentally, accidentally jammed it in the door 
and he tore the whole fingernail off except it was hanging off a thread. I was about five, four or five years of age living in Queensland. That bloody hurt. There you go, Luigi, a childhood memory. There you go, brought back by the copier. Oh shoot, that didn't work too well. <laughs> Looks good though. Now, I think the copier didn't bite as much as the back door. Anyway, I think I failed up with the positioning of that original. For some reason, I've decided just to slip it over here. Okay. Well, whatever. So, maybe because we wanted the we wanted the positioning to be a little bit different to the first one because um, we're going to try and overlay these things probably on my biz hub. Uh, right. Okay. So. See, I enjoy doing different copier systems, but man, they have their moments. I'll tell you. It takes it takes us it's almost the patient of a saint that you need to have with these machines they're not for everybody um, I certainly don't advocate recreational use for people who just can't stand the nuts out of them All right, let's try again um, maybe it's more like a hundred and fifty percent so hang on what's it not going into the system this thing's a bit tricky so watch the numbers flicking around on that little on that little panel there. So we go 100, 1, 5, 0. That's it. That's it. We're in the system. We just have to hit enter. Um, okay. And we hit start. I don't think we lightened it up last time. Man, that, that was a bit painful. I must say, that's probably the first time I've ever caught on camera a copy of biting me. Again, we're at it, so that's interesting. So here's the image that where I said Al the copier bit me. And that was at 200, and this is the 150 percent. 